Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to tell you which watercolor brand is the best when it comes to squeezing out the paint into plastic pans like this. So over the last few days, I have sold some watercolor boxes to you guys and I have learned a lot from the different brands that I have tried to put into pans like this. So today I'm going to share with you what I've learned. This is not a comprehensive review because I do not have all the brands to test and for the brands that I have here, I do not have all the colors to test. In the future, as I use more brands, I may make a follow-up video to this. All right, so the best brand when it comes to squeezing the paint into pens like this, um, I would say it's Winsor & Newton. Winsor & Newton is a brand from UK and these are half pens filled with the Winsor & Newton paints. I find that with most of the colors that I have, they dry with a nice matte surface. The paint is not too fluid, but it's not too dry. It's just nice. And the paint doesn't crack when it's dry. It doesn't shrink that much when it's dry. So that makes it really good for squeezing into pens like this. Now notice the pens that I have here, they are all half filled. That's because I was looking out for the cracking and the shrinking. If the pin cracks or shrinks, I would have to squeeze some paint into the cracks, to, to, into the gaps to fill up the paint. But here, it uh, looks all right, it looks perfect. But that's not to say that all their colors, all their paint will not crack. This is Winsor Newton Ultramarine. So there is a slight crack here in the middle. So the crack is visible, which means I am able to squeeze paint to fill up the gap. The second best brand would go with Daniel Smith, in my opinion. This is from USA. Most of the paint that I have tested from Daniel Smith, they also dry with a nice matte surface. And the paint, it's neither too fluid or too dry. So it's great for squeezing into pens like this as well. When I squeeze paint in pens, I like to squeeze a bit more paint to have it go over the top of the pen because most colors, they actually shrink when they dry. So when this shrinks, it will go down and it will just align with the top of this pen. And what I mean by the paint not being too fluid or too dry is when I tilt this vertically like this, notice the paint, it doesn't move at all. It doesn't flow. So this is what I'm looking for. This is an example of a paint that has shrunk in size. So I have actually filled this up halfway like all the other pans, but the following day, it shrunk to less than the midway, the halfway point. And this color, this is Queen of Crydon Rose. I noticed that most Queen of Crydon colors, they actually shrink by quite a bit. So with colors like this, I need to fill the pan several times. Each time I fill it, it will shrink. I need to top it up again and again. So for a 15 ml tube like this, if you are using paint from the tube, it's going to be 15 ml. But if you are going to squeeze the paint out into pan and have it dry, the actual capacity may be less than 15 ml. Some Daniel Smith watercolor paint would actually crack when dry, but don't worry, it's not many. It's just like less than a handful. This particular one, it's Mayan red. So it has some small cracks. These are considered small. There are other colors that have bigger cracks. So when you are squeezing paint into pans, I do recommend you squeeze halfway first and see if the paint can dry properly. If there are gaps, you can squeeze the paint to fill the gaps, which is what I'm going to do for this later on. The next brand which is really good is Schminker from Germany. So the paint dries really well in the pans as well. The surface is not as matte compared to Winston Newton and Daniel Smith, but this is definitely more than good enough. 
the paint dries easily and can be wet very easily. The paint would shrink slightly when it's dry, so you have to top it up. This applies to Winston Newton as well, but for the limited number of colors that I have, I've not noticed any significant cracking yet. So they dry really well. The next brand is Van Gogh from Netherlands. Now this paint, it's a bit more fluid. So when you squeeze it into a pan, the paint would actually just flow and fill up all the gaps. And you have to make sure to fill it up over the top because when it shrinks, it will shrink very beautifully into something like this. And it dries with a nice matte surface as well. Next, we have My Marie Blue from Italy. They dry quite well, although the surface can still look glossy and sticky. But whether or not it looks glossy or sticky, it's not as important compared to the paint not moving. So I can have this upside down, shake it, and it's not going to flow after it's dry. So that's the most important thing. All these are My Marie Blue paint and they dry pretty well. Shin Han from South Korea dries very nicely as well. Kinda similar to Daniel Smith or Schminker. Next we have Mission Go also from South Korea. They use honey in their paint and honey would attract moisture from the air around to make the paint look moist. So all this paint, they would dry with this glossy surface. The paint is quite fluid, but when it dries, it doesn't move as much. So the only thing about this paint is it dries with a very glossy surface. Honey makes the paint easy to re-wet. So all the paint from Mission Go, they re-wet very easily. If you have problems re-wetting certain colors from other brands, maybe you want to check out that specific color from Mission Go. Jackson's Art is from UK and they use honey in their paint as well. Their paint is quite fluid, quite similar to Mission Go actually. So this is how fluid the paint is from Jackson's Art. See how it flows down so easily. And when it flows down into the pan, it would spread itself, it would spread itself out to fill up all the corners of the pan. This paint is very fluid. If I were to tilt the pan at an angle, the paint would actually move. So can you see the paint moving? So if you are using this outdoors, make sure you dry it properly before you keep your box. If not, the paint is going to run all over the place. This is also Jackson's art. I filled this a few days ago and it has dried. So now the paint, it doesn't run. So once you dry it properly, it shouldn't run. The brand with the most fluid watercolor is Stefan Quiller. This is imported by Jack Richardson in USA, made in Belgium. That's how fluid the paint is. This is how Stefan Quiller watercolor paint looks when it's dry. This is the most glossy surface among all the paint that I have shown you earlier. So this brand, it's not that suitable for use in pans like this. I mean, you can dry it for a few days and it will look like this. It's not going to flow anymore. But when you're painting outdoors, once you add water, I'm not sure how that would affect the fluidity and how fast it would dry back into a non-movable state. The quality of paint from all these brands is very good. And all the paint from these brands, except for Stefan Quiller, they can dry nicely in plastic pans. But the best ones, I would say, would be Winston Newton, Daniel Smith, and Schminker. Having said that, it's not to say that you cannot use these brands in plastic pans. You can. Um, so My Marie Blue, it's very good for use in pans as well, as well as Shin Han. All right, let me know in the comment section, what are some of the brands you use to fill your pans? And if you have any problems with paint running, I would love to hear from you as well. So this is the current palette that I'm using. 
I have a problem with Daniel Smith's uh, Rhythm Blue. Whenever I'm painting outdoors, when I try to dry my box, this is the color that dries the slowest. And sometimes when it's still wet, when I keep it and keep it in my bag, when I open it up again, I can see the paint has flowed out onto other colors. So this is a tricky paint to dry. By the way, I am selling off some of my excess watercolor paint to make space to get more paint to test and to feature on my YouTube channel and also to make videos like the one you have just watched. So if you want to support my channel and you want to get some paint for yourself, you can check out the list of colors that I'm selling. The link is in the video description below. All right, see you all.